they all lived happily ever after. The end. That's a good one. Good night, Jilly. Sweet dreams. Wait, Daddy. Oh. Don't leave just yet. Jilly, you need some sleep. What's going on? That book freaked me out, and now I'm thinking of all the things I'm afraid of. Like what? Well, there's airplanes, bees, COVID, dark electric shock, fire, ghosts, hexes, invasions, judgment, knives, lice, mice, night, oranges, poison, questions, roller coasters, spiders, teasing, underbeds, violence, worms, x-rays, yellow fever, and zoom. Did you just list all of your fears in alphabetical order? Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay, well, you know, there's things I'm scared of, too. What do I do to fix that? What do I do to fix this? Well, when I'm afraid, I like to remember that I'm part of a story that's way bigger than just me. And God's story is full of people who were sometimes afraid. You know, I think I have time to tell you one more story tonight. This part of God's story is during a time when many people were afraid of many things. Just like us. It all begins in Nazareth, a town in Galilee, with a woman named Mary. Oh, hi. Uh, welcome. Welcome to my home. Do you want to talk with me? Uh, we haven't met before, have we? Would you like to hear what I have to say? I do. Pardon me. Let me start over. Greetings, favored one. God is with you. What kind of greeting was that? Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have favor with God, and now you are going to have a baby. Boy, you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and his kingdom will have no end. How can this be? How is this going to happen? The Holy Spirit will come upon you and the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. Also, your relative Elizabeth is going to have a baby, even though people thought it was impossible. But nothing is impossible with God. Was all of that a question? Oh, hmm. Well, are you asking me if I want to do this? Good question. Uh, yes. Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to this message. I need to see Elizabeth. Elizabeth, are you home? I'm coming in. Mary, I have to tell you something. You are so blessed among women, and the baby in your womb is also blessed. The moment the sound of your greeting filled my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. Here, feel it. Elizabeth, I'm also bursting with good news. God took one look at me, and look what happened. I am the most blessed woman in the world. What God has done for me will never be forgotten. I am talking about the God who knocked the powerful off their thrones and lifted up the lowly. So can I stay with you for a few months? Sure. Want some? Mary is pregnant? How is that possible? We aren't even married yet, and the law says that isn't good. Not good at all. She claims that this child, the child she carries, is God's child. My only option is to marry her and then divorce her quietly. Now, that will save my reputation, at least. But she will be disgraced. I don't know what to do. I'm afraid. Oh, Mary. Joseph, son of David. 
David, do not be afraid to marry. God's Holy Spirit has made Mary pregnant. Mary has a baby, and you will name him Jesus. God saved, saves the, his people from his sins. <sighs> Why is Joseph packing a bag? Why was Joseph afraid of Mary having a baby? Do angels still visit people in dreams? Why did Mary stay at Elizabeth's house? Who names a kid God saves? Why is everyone making such a big deal about this? It's just a baby. The story is so weird, I guess. Yeah, kids, I don't know the answers to most of those questions. This is a bigger-than-life kind of story, and there's a lot of unexplainable and miraculous parts. That sounds like what Pastor Lauren says when I ask tough questions. Good. I'm glad I sound like Pastor Lauren, because we just don't have all the answers. Now, I do have answer to one of those questions. Why is Joseph packing? To understand that, we have to meet the emperor. Citizens of Rome, it is I, your Lord and Savior, Good Shepherd, Prince of Peace, Light, Way, Caesar Augustus. First of all, I want to say you're welcome for all the great things I've done for this empire. There has never been an empire as powerful and glorious as me. My empire is vast, and you people are obedient. And you owe me so much, so, so much. I am saving you all. Citizens, I want to count you. Yes, yes, let's get a good head count. So you can all pay me what I owe. Go to your hometown and register your family so that you can show proper appreciation for my awesomeness. I decree it to be so. Farewell, my faithful children. Okay, the good news is I found us a place to stay. Finally, this baby is not gonna wait much longer. Where are we staying? Ooh, did you get a room at that nice inn that I like? The one with the good breakfast? Uh, not exactly. It was full. Oh no, what are we going to do? Sleep in us outside with the shepherds? Stay in a stable with the donkeys? What? No. Who would do that? Joseph, this baby is coming soon. I know, I know. The guest rooms are full, but I found a nice innkeeper who will let us stay in a small space in his home. Oh, good. Yeah, it's a nice space. Lots of hay. Maybe a few animals. All right, let's do this. Okay, stop there. What? Why? I don't think I want to hear about the birth part. Hmm, yeah, we can talk about that later. The Bible doesn't really talk about the birth anyway. It just says that Mary had the baby, wrapped him in strips of cloth, and placed him in the feeding trough. That's it. But it's important to remember that part for the next part of our story. It takes place in a field. Okay, keep going. Well, there were shepherds living outside in the fields nearby. They were about to be frightened by some powerful messengers from God, but then they would soon find out they didn't have to be afraid. Glory to God in the highest. Ahem. Ahem. 
Glory to God. Is this thing even working? Am I on mute? Are you people even listening? Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause joy for all of the people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths, lying in a manger. Good news for all of the people. The Messiah is born, a savior. Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth, peace among those whom God favors. That's all, goodbye. So you both saw that, right? Yes, yes, yes I did. Ah! Yep, that happened. Ah! Where we are going, right? Yes, we are going, we have to go. Do we bring the sheep? I think we have to. Ba ba, yeah, we want to come. Take us with you. Ba ba. What were those signs again? A baby wrapped in stripes of cloth, laying in a manger. Ba. We won't forget. Let's go. Come on. Well, that was a miracle. It's exactly how the angel had described. The baby was wrapped in cloth, lying in a manger. Friends, we've seen something amazing tonight. I don't know about you, but it feels like the world is changing. Yeah, but why I think we got to see it? Nobody cares about us shepherds. We're poor and we don't have much power. I have no idea. But the baby's mother, Mary, acted like this was exactly how it was supposed to happen. Like this was meant for people like us. Maybe this baby will lift up the lowly. Bring down the lofty, wouldn't that be something? It sure would. I believe there's no limit of what this baby can do. Hey, shepherds, was that star there last night? I don't think I've ever seen that one before. Hello and welcome to our observatory. We are the wise men. Wise people. The magi. We are really more like scientists. Astronomers, we study the stars. We study the stars so well that when something changes, we notice immediately. And we just noticed a new star. We must follow our scientific instincts and find out why there is a new star in the sky. Now we begin our turning. Are we there yet? You literally just passed that. Now? Yes, yes, it looks like we are here. Here it is, Bethlehem. Let's look up the local king so we can get some more information. When somebody said king, that would be me. I'm the big cheese around here. Everybody said, everybody's talking about it. They all say that I am the most powerful king Bethlehem has ever had. We got it, best king ever. So, we are here because we are looking for the newly born king. The child born king of the Jews. We observed the star on the rising. And we have come to honor him. Oh, will you excuse me for a moment? I need to make a call. Hi, put me in my smart people. Hey, according to your research, do you know where the Messiah is born? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Bye. Hi, wise folks. So this is great. Go find this child and pay him honor and bring him back to me so that I too can pay honor to him. Oh, sure. Okay. We can do that. 
let's get out of here. When we left Herod, he decided to sit around and be jealous and plan his revenge. He felt very threatened. There was a new leader that the people were excited to meet. But we found Jesus and brought gifts to the special child. We brought gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Usually, these gifts are for royalty. Powerful people. Grown men. But we brought these gifts to a tiny, weak, oppressed child. Even though we didn't really know what was going on, we knew it was important. This good news would turn everything upside down. Uh-oh. And by the way, we didn't return to that wicked King Herod. Nope, no way. We were born in a dream to take a different way home. You might say we took the scenic route. And now we return to watching the stars. Those wise people were really brave. They honored the king God. He had chosen, brought him presents, disobeyed the orders of King Herod, and made it home safely. Yes, they were brave and determined. Everyone in the story was, I think. From Mary and Joseph to the shepherds and the Magi, they all recognized that the birth of Jesus was going to change the world. Madeline, are you feeling safe and sleepy yet? Our story is coming to an end. Yes, I feel safe and sleepy, but this isn't really the end. No? Why not? It's bedtime. We need to get some sleep. Mom, this is just the beginning. Jesus is born. He grows up and changes water to wine. He teaches. He heals, flips tables. He... Yes, yes, you're right. Jesus' birth is just the beginning. We have a lot to talk about, but it's late. Tonight, let's focus on this one special moment, this one night that brought us Jesus. Okay, that makes sense. This is a good story. God's story is unfolding more good news every day. And in the end, all things will be made right. That doesn't mean we won't be afraid along the way, but we can trust that love and justice will have the final word. Speaking of the final word, let's have a final word from Mary, the mother of Jesus. My soul magnifies the Lord. My soul magnifies the Lord. My soul magnifies the Lord. And my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For you, God, have looked with favor on the lowliness of your servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed. For you is a mighty one have done great things for me. And holy is your name. Your mercy is for those who fear God. From generation to generation. You, God, have shed strength with your arms. You have scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. You, God, brought down the powerful from their thrones. And lifted up the lowly. You filled the hungry with good things. And sent the rich away. And empty. You have helped your servant Israel. In remembrance of your mercy. According to the promises you made to our ancestors. To Abraham and Sarah and their descendants forever.
<laughs> Can you do it again one more time? Really loud, loudest donkey ever. Hey, huh? Hi, I'm going to be playing We Wish You a Merry Christmas on the piano. Finally, this baby is coming soon. <laughs> Take two. Take two. <laughs> Actually, Anna, according, wait, sorry, what's the line again? According to the, it's a, a, what is he eating? <laughs> this stuff is super itchy. I, <laughs> Why is that happening? Yeehaw, yeehaw! Yeehaw, yeehaw! Yeehaw, yeehaw! I, uh, I don't have pickles, and to be honest, the Van Meer pantry is a little bit sad right now, so I have frosting and mustard. I thought that would be weird enough. Let's have a final word from Mary, the mother of Jesus. Nay. <laughs> Calder, you look totally different now. Got rid of that itchy costume, huh? Yeah, that was super duper <laughs> itchy. It's tough being a star, though. And the shirt was burning hot, too. I need to see it. <laughs> Very dramatic. <laughs> he turned into a Dumbo. <laughs> I know those are solid ears, Sai. I'm digging it. Just make a dump noise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs>